Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. Submarines present a major danger to naval fleets and coastal installations. Their ability to operate underwater remain unseen and deploy a wide range of powerful weapons allows them to strike targets from great distances. To counter these modern underwater threats, navies across the globe created specialized tactics and strategies collectively known as anti-submarine warfare. The purpose of anti-submarine warfare, or ASW, is to detect, track, and eliminate hostile submarines before they can enter friendly waters to conduct surveillance or launch attacks. Over time, navies have integrated advanced technologies such as sonar, magnetic anomaly detectors, and radar systems to enhance detection. When a submarine must be destroyed, surface ships and aircraft can launch depth charges, torpedoes, or anti-submarine rockets to neutralize the threat. That said, submarines are anything but easy to engage. They too possess cutting-edge technology, including sophisticated jamming systems capable of disrupting enemy sensors. Because of this, one of the most vital tools in modern anti-submarine warfare is the sonoboy. In simple terms, sonoboys are floating sonar sensors deployed from ships or aircraft to extend the listening reach of ASW forces. Most variants are buoyant and equipped with either passive or active listening devices, similar to the sonar systems installed on surface ships. However, due to their small size, they can be difficult for submarines to detect. Once released, the sonoboys immediately begin scanning for underwater sounds, such as the hum of engines, propeller noise, and other distinctive acoustic signatures. Some models can transmit real-time data back to aircraft, allowing ASW operators to study the feed and make instant tactical decisions. They are often deployed in grid or pattern formations to create an even wider detection zone, forming an underwater barrier that significantly improves the chances of contact. Sonoboys are remarkably advanced, yet incredibly versatile. When needed, Ground forces can load them onto helicopters or aircraft, fly over a body of water, and manually drop them from above. This provides vital assistance to troops and vehicles operating on land or sea, especially when dedicated sonobuoy-equipped aircraft are unavailable. That said, their detection capability is temporary. Most sonoboys are designed to float for only a limited period before their batteries deplete and they must be recovered. However, certain high-end models include self-destruct features to ensure that sensitive data or technology cannot be captured by enemies. Regardless of type, sonoboys remain a cost-effective and efficient way to broaden underwater surveillance coverage, helping ASW forces to locate, follow, and, if necessary, destroy submarines before they complete their objectives.
Although most naval vessels are armed, not all are equipped to counter an advanced submarine. Luckily, even before submarines entered service, navies maintained a special class of ships known as destroyers. These long-range vessels are specifically built to protect larger or less armed ships by engaging enemy boats, aircraft, or submarines that pose a threat. Their distinct ability to locate and eliminate submarines makes them invaluable to any fleet. However, the approach varies based on their onboard systems and tactical methods. To begin with, destroyers are fitted with advanced sonar arrays, including hull-mounted and towed systems that transmit sound waves and analyze their echoes to detect subs. By studying these returning signals, crews can determine a submarine's position, depth, and heading. Once identified, the destroyer can engage the target using several types of weaponry. For decades, the primary option was the depth charge, an explosive device designed to damage submarines by detonating underwater at preset depths. Though once effective, depth charges are now seen as less precise tools for anti-submarine warfare. Today, advances in torpedo technology make torpedoes the preferred weapon for destroyers hunting submarines. While torpedoes are often linked to sub-attacks on surface ships, the reverse is equally true. Each torpedo carries its own sonar-guided system that homes in on a submarine's acoustic trail, allowing it to follow even evasive maneuvers. Once a submarine is located, the destroyer launches a torpedo toward its position, and the weapon's onboard systems take over. Modern torpedoes have an impressive range, sometimes up to 40 kilometers, allowing destroyers to attack from a safe distance while still posing a serious threat. Most destroyers feature torpedo tubes that can fire both above and below the surface, giving them flexibility to strike targets near or deep below the water. While submarines may be their main focus, modern destroyers can also take on numerous other threats, airborne, surface, or land-based. For example, naval destroyers often carry various missile systems, including surface-to-air weapons, anti-ship missiles, and long-range land attack cruise missiles, such as the Tomahawk. They also feature a range of gun systems, from large-caliber anti-ship cannons to close-in weapon systems like the Phalanx or Ram, designed to intercept incoming missiles and aircraft at short range. Additionally, most destroyers are equipped with advanced electronic warfare suites to detect, jam, and counter enemy radar, communications, and missile guidance systems, along with decoys and countermeasures for defense. Such protection is crucial, as submarines are heavily armed with formidable weaponry of their own, their stealth enables them to infiltrate enemy waters undetected, 
making sub-attacks particularly difficult to anticipate or repel. Like their surface counterparts, submarines carry multiple torpedoes they can fire from below while remaining hidden. Depending on class and purpose, they may also deploy land attack or anti-ship cruise missiles capable of striking targets on sea or shore. Among their most powerful assets are submarine-launched intercontinental ballistic missiles, such as Russia's Bulava and the U.S. Trident 2D5. Each capable of carrying nuclear warheads, forming a key pillar of national deterrence strategies. Through sophisticated engineering and advanced launch systems, today's submarines can fire ballistic missiles while fully submerged beneath the ocean's surface. This capability allows them to hit distant targets without revealing their position, maintaining stealth and survivability even in contested waters. Submarines typically use one of two missile launch systems vertical launch systems or torpedo tube systems. Vertical launch systems, or VLS, are the preferred choice for large ballistic or cruise missiles. These consist of a series of vertical tubes built into the submarine's hull, each containing a missile sealed within a watertight compartment. When the launch command is given, the process unfolds through a series of precise, rapid steps. First, the hatch covering the tube opens, allowing seawater to fill the chamber. Then, compressed gas stored in high-pressure tanks expels the missile upward with great force. It travels through the water column, breaks the surface, and ignites its rocket motor. From that point, it stabilizes and follows its programmed course toward the target, guided by advanced navigation and propulsion systems. This cold launch process protects the submarine from exhaust damage and allows it to dive or change course immediately after firing. The accuracy and reliability of this method make it one of the most sophisticated underwater launch techniques ever designed. The second system uses the same forward-facing torpedo tubes that fire conventional torpedoes. Starting the bridge rounds, clear aft. The key difference between missiles and torpedoes lies in propulsion. The crew selects the appropriate weapon based on the target's type, range, and speed. Before firing, the torpedo tube is flooded to balance internal and external pressure. Once the target is confirmed, the captain gives the order to launch, sending the weapon through water or air depending on the mission. Weapon is away. Weapon in motion. Both torpedoes and missiles come with advanced guidance options, including sonar and wire control. Upon reaching their destination, they either strike directly or detonate nearby, depending on their warhead design and mission objectives. The quiet struggle beneath the sea is as complex as it is vital. Submarines bring stealth and immense firepower to naval warfare, while surface ships, aircraft, and detection systems work tirelessly to locate and stop them before they strike. Anti-submarine warfare isn't defined by a single tool, 
It's an integrated system combining sonar, sonobuoys, magnetic detectors, towed arrays, guided torpedoes, and disciplined tactics. Destroyers, patrol aircraft, and ASW specialists remain indispensable, translating detection into protection for fleets and coastal regions. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.